There's the heat draw though. First heat of the Pipe Invitational, Griffin Cole Pinto, a massive name for himself already as a young pro from San Clemente, California, leading the Triple Crown ranking. So he got a spot into the Invitational to see if he could go on into the main event. Things are getting started. Time already ticking off the clock here in the first heat of the Invitational. Griffin Cole Pinto leading the Triple Crown rankings. Kicks things off with a quick one at back door. The guy that's accomplished himself with the Pro Juniors out here at the Pipe Invitational two years ago. and It's a good start. It's one of those settlers, uh, a nice little slide straight in, and that's what we're going to see a lot of here today. Uh, a lot of those tight little barrels at back door. It's not the kind of wave where you can drop all the way down to the bottom, bottom turn and pull in. You've got to really just... The beach. Thank you, Kaipo, for the update of the sand report. So important when you come to Pipeline. And hopefully things clean up as we get closer to the main event and throughout the rounds this morning. Punching free to get the completion is Reef Hazelwood. Quarters, he probably have a good shot of getting into this event. Isaiah Moniz, clean vision on a quick little left-hander to get his best score so far. What we've got to understand is that this is a gnarly wave, so you're going to see a lot of quick short waves, ones like this that aren't going to really score massive, but then every now and again, you're going to just see the classic pipeline barrel. Again, sliding straight in up the front of the board. So you use that rocker of the board to slow yourself down. And again, back-to-back -back waves. Isaiah Moniz checks out a quick right on the back end. He's out of there. Getting a ton of support on the beach. Now locking in. Griffin Cola Pinto gets spit out. Big ramp to throw a tail high reverse. And Cola Pinto almost throws down a massive <laughs> finishing move by uh, John John Florence. Why not Pipeline, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> nice little backside tube there from Isaiah. Quick little in and out, and then behind him, Griffin. That's better. Just getting back door. That's why it's called back door, because you come from behind the section. Try and maximize the time in the barrel, get as deep as humanly possible, sliding straight in. You can see further up the board as well. And what that does is it just disengages the fins a little bit and, and wipes off a bit of speed. You're able to control your speed a lot better. And he puts his foot back just to pump and get that real pop. To see what Zietz has in store for us in the main event. Right into a really cool takeoff for Griffin Cola Pinto. Quick barrel, not super deep. I mean, that drop was nice on the edge there. Just managed to pull up under the hood. This kid is a, a bit of a wave magnet. I was watching him at Sunset and Holly Ever and... He always seems to be on the good ones. I mean, he's got an affinity with the ocean that you really need to have to, to go to that next level as a, a top pro surfer. Look at that, just sneaking on. I mean, that was total commitment. You heard Sebastian Zietz talk about paddling into this wave. You have to be 100% committed. A little bit softer barrel here. We'll just watch this one. Still with Richie Porterhead, Judge, as he's watching a beautiful takeoff from Billy Kemper. Solid exit into a forehand carve. He's got a little bit of room to move. Goes for a frontside punt, but he can't hang on. How important the maneuvers will be after a barrel in these conditions today. Oh, look, it's pipeline, so it's all about the barrel, and you have to do a pretty amazing turn. You do see them on, on the right, especially, with that close-out turn, but it, it, it's all, we're here for the, for the tube, and that's pretty much it. You get a little bit of sugar on the top, if you manage to do a really big turn or a really big air, but we're definitely chasing big barrels here. Hitting the five minute warning, split peak. We'll stick with Kemper at back door. A wide open pit. As soon as he got his line, the section clamped and Kemper goes down. Goofy footer, Reef Hazelwood having a look. Trapping the rail back door, no barrel on offer. Hazelwood stays in fourth. <laughs> You this was see, on the split parts. Yeah, you can see uh, Billy going on the right. That wave there not really uh, producing anything for Isaiah. And then here's a word, not quite getting barreled, so that's not going to be a keeper for him. But Billy Camper, I thought he was going to come out of that one, Joe. He's so solid on his feet. You can see here's a word, trying to slow down. Things are pretty sort of tight for that second spot. This man, though, looking solid. 90 seconds left. Cola Pinto super deep with a lot of style on this backdoor running right. The goofy foot from Oahu just needs the 3.91 to take Kemper's spot into the quarterfinals. He's a wood left chasing a 3.85 as we're going to run out of time. First seat of the Invitational. 
is out of the way. Griffin Cole Pinto, the leader of the Triple Crown rankings, takes top honors to move on to the quarterfinals.